Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my newest pair of shoes. My Mason Mihara Yasuhiro Blakey's. Um, this will be my third pair of Mason Mihara Yasuhiro shoes. And it's safe to say that these shoes are probably a staple in my closet now ever since I bought my first pair back in November of 2021. So I'm going to show you an unboxing. Not really an unboxing because I've already taken the shoes out and worn them, but um, I'll give you a bit of detail <laughs> of these shoes and how much I paid, where you can buy them, recommend what style might suit you the most. Okay, so right when you open the box, this is what the shoes look like. I got the Blakey's and the 37 black ones. I have a pair of black Hank uh, Mason Miharas already, which I wear almost every day, but I've worn them to the point where they're pretty much crumbling on the back of the shoe. So I wanted to get another pair that I could wear um, interchangeably, same color, because um, I wear the black ones a lot and I was even considering getting the white ones, but I feel like I would get them really dirty and the black is just more uh, defined as a shoe i think like the shape and stuff these are the blakey's again i got them in a size 37 and right when you open the box it comes in these two uh dust bags i took them out because i already wore these shoes but here's like an up close look the Blakey's are based off the Superstar shoes, uh, as I'm told <laughs> by one of my friends. And the Hanks are based off like a Condor and like a mix of another like uh, iconic shoe silhouette. Really wanted the Blakey's for a long time because they're a lot chunkier than the Hanks. I think the Hanks are more flat and long, whereas the Blakey's, they have the melting design kind of like going in a vertical motion whereas the hanks are kind of like melted melted i bought them off farfetch almost like 500 dollars. they were out of stock for a really long time and because this is like colorway is very basic it's always out of stock so i was really excited when they restocked it i've been on the hunt for them um even when i went to japan i tried to get them in stores any basic colorway like this is going to be really hard to find and they sell out really quickly online as well so no no luck there but i did get to go to a few mason mihara stores and look at some of the models that they did have in store and some are exclusive to each store so if you're really into the exclusive stuff and you're taking a trip to tokyo sometime soon which is one of the biggest like fashion district like areas and hubs then you can totally check them out I have several stores across like all of japan because it is like a japanese brand so i'm going to show you the shoe oh my goodness please ignore this hand to <laughs> my nails because i tried to do gel on my own like hands and i think they turned out really well on this hand but not so much on this hand as you can tell they are so like big and chunky they're pretty loud but they're also a subtle silhouette i don't know for some reason it's giving nostalgic vibes because i used to wear superstars all the time when i was in freshman year of college when they became really popular the back says the mmy so mason miyari as a hero and then you have it on the side here it says blakey for the design and the model of the shoe and i'm really surprised with how lightweight this model is compared to the hanks i feel like the hanks can be like actually pretty heavy to walk in in comparison to these i also had the wanes but i actually ended up selling those because i wasn't wearing them enough they gave me blisters at the back of my feet although they were very comfortable to like break in i i bled quite a bit on my ankles so i ended up selling them to someone and i also got those in a color where i feel like i can't style a lot so i got them in like a light gray but i sold it to someone i bought this for like all around like 500 but i sold them close to 500 they sold those and those were like way harder to get than these actually i think that colorway specifically it was like only one in the u.s left in that size pretty sure it's because junk wore them in general the wanes i think are more, like harder to get because they're not as sought out for as the Blakey's or the Hanks or the Petersons. So those three I feel like are more popular than the um, the Waynes. And the Waynes are based off the Air Force One, which I already don't like Air Force Ones on me. I think that's a purchase I regret making, um, even though I did sell them because I feel like my closet's constantly like being rotated out anyways i don't think i would buy them again in gray i would probably buy them again in black so i could wear them more so i ended up getting this pair and they are much more lightweight than the hanks and i was really surprised because they look a lot heavier to me and then the melting detail is so cool like i am really into the like non 
normal type of fashion nowadays. What I also really like about this is that it is reminiscent of the Superstar shoe, but I like how they, one, added like really, really cool, like melting look to it, but they added like super thick laces. So I feel like this pulls it together the most. Something I don't like about normal sneakers is that the laces are always really skinny. And one problem I have with Jordans and why I don't wear them anymore, and I know there's like a solution to it. You can just buy untieable laces or something, or tieable laces. The one thing I had a problem with Jordans is my laces always untied and I was getting so tired of it and I feel like Jordans are also just not really my style anymore as, as my style progressed throughout the, the years. They always untied and I was getting so sick of it. I never have to tie these shoes like I didn't even retie them when I bought them like the first bought them and then wore them out for the first time yesterday. Of course the first time I wear them out is to a a freaking garden like a japanese garden where it rained but it actually they didn't get too dirty uh you can see maybe on on this one it got like a little bit dirty they're just so cool to me i don't know and like the bottom i love how you kind of get like this platform too because it's just much more comfortable for someone who already has like problematic feet like myself. I have pretty wide feet and these these fit me perfectly. If anything, like the back of my left foot is a little bit loose, but that's because my feet are not evenly like sized. Tie one side a little bit more tight or I'll just wear like thicker socks. But overall, I think I'm like pretty good at guessing the size for my shoes now and you don't want to buy something that's too small because um, not all of the time it's gonna stretch. My Hanks did run a little bit big for me. Um, they are a size 37. I definitely could have gone to a 36 for those. This is a 37. They run very true to size for me. Um, I'll just have to wear like thicker socks and then my Wayne's were also a 37 and those really really true to size if anything. That one I feel like I could have also if they had like a 37.5 I could have gotten a 37.5 instead of a 37 because those ones were leather they tend to like stretch anyways if you're wearing them a lot so they'll like stretch to your feet shape but I didn't even wear them enough to the point where I stretched them out yeah I'm so happy with this purchase I bought them on Farfetch I think they were like $445 with tax and everything you gotta like round up to 500 no import duties because they were actually shipped from Atelier New York which is a uh, I think department store online I've never purchased from but I'm just assuming it's just like another retailer They don't really have a lot of sizes in stock when it comes to like these kind of shoes So when it says one left, they really mean that there's only one left so I would hop on it um, If you ever have trouble deciding what your shoe size is if you are closer to let's say if you're a six and a half US women's I would opt for a 37 to go half size up European sizing or, or like Japan sizing is a half a size small anyway so your true size would be like half a size up in the number 37 is my like normal you I think like European size and Japan size it differentiates from model to model you'll just have to buy and try because they don't have these in store anywhere for you to look at anyways um, at least in the US I didn't even get to try on some when I went abroad over to um, Japan but oh my gosh I'm giving this shoe I know I've only had it for like two days but I feel like when something just clicks in your brain and it feels right then <laughs> that should be a sign to say yes because I know I will wear these so frequently I wear my Hanks almost every day if I'm not wearing those I'm probably wearing Birkenstocks or like um, some loafers or something but I'm really enjoying wearing like a super I don't want to say wonky or weird but they're definitely not the traditional sneaker um, a lot of people right now are rocking New Balance which I did buy a pair of New Balances when I was in Korea I don't wear those because I don't have anything to pair them with yet like I haven't thought about an outfit it's a casual shoe I always wear like really baggy stuff anyways like, this really suits my style like I don't get too dressed up I feel like you could even dress it up too if you want to be more like chic and wear a full-on suit or something but we'll just see because they are so similar to the hanks the only thing that's very different about this is like obviously you know the front it's got this detailing that looks like a superstar shoe in terms of the shape it is much more like elevated and the, the platform looks a lot thicker whereas the hanks it looks like the um, shoe is more melted towards the floor and actually i can do a side-by-side -side comparison since i have both oh so these are the blakey's 
and then these are the hanks oh my goodness as you can tell they are distressed like crazy but that's how i bought them and of course as you can see the back right here it's crumbling because i don't like put these on with care i just slip them on and the back sole has been worn out pretty bad more melted towards the bottom and the top right here it looks like someone stuck gum on it and then it just like started to melt off oh the color on this one is much more black because they're brand new and these ones are just like dirty these have been through a sole monsoon like a korea sole monsoon back here it's rubberized mmy they are very very dirty they're very worn through but i think it gives them a lot of character whereas these ones are like fresh out the box they're gonna they're gonna be like the same right off the bat when you hold these they are much more hefty the blakies feel very lightweight they're very comfortable it's kind of like walking on clouds with this one this is also very comfortable though like when i first bought them i was like wow these are so so comfortable like it feels like i'm actually walking on air or something really soft these ones run big for me because i think that they are a little bit wider at the front even though i have wide feet these run a little bit big i think like half a size big so i think you can size down for these but for the blakies i would go true to size but yeah this is just a side by side comparison the hanks are more popular to people because of the shape of the shoe it looks more like a converse versus like this looks like a superstar adidas shoe and i think more people probably would prefer this one because you can wear it more often with more outfits but then this one i think I, i've seen so many idols wear these like all of hype has mason mihar shoes like personally i think the both like both of them even though they're pretty similar they serve very different styles and purposes like they give very different vibes to me i think this one's much more casual like dressed down and then this one i think if you're wearing something like this you are more street-esque and street style like they both retailed i think the hanks were actually more expensive and they are still more expensive on the farfetch website that's because these are much more popular so i think because of that uh, it's in more demand, so more people buying it, and it's harder to get. And when I bought these, actually, I didn't even know the name of the shoe because they just named it like Mason Mihara Distress Shoe, and that was it. Because that was back in like November of 2021, and it's been like a full year and a year and a few months now. I think a lot of people started to branch out and discover the brand and discover the shoes even though they've been around for like at least five years around like three or four years i've seen youtube videos from three or four years ago that people are doing um reviews on but they became really really popular recently with all the idols wearing them and like truly i wanted to buy this pair again like this exact pair and have like a backup which i think in the future i might do that because i love these shoes so much and i know that i, I said that with like my jordans before too that i was like yeah oh, this is my holy grail shoe like i will never get rid of it but i think you just grow out of stuff so easily when it's not something you can wear every day and i've been wearing this for over a year and a few months i've gotten like so much wear out of these to the point where i can say it is a staple or like a permanent item in my closet to the point where i bought like another pair that's very similar but still yet very different if you had to choose one which one would you choose because i still think of course like these are my babies these are like my shoes that i wear almost every day but i think it's cool to have like different variations of them and i want to get a different color maybe like actually white and like a leather finish this time not in any rush because these are quite expensive um, but they are great everyday shoes like you better be getting your wear out of it if it's five hundred dollars <laughs> and if you can find them in korea or in japan which they're so popular in korea right now as well you should be like buy them over there because it's much cheaper since you don't pay for the import fees i really really love these shoes if i haven't said it enough i'm like double fisting these shoes i love like Mason Mihar, the brand. Everything's so different to what I see on a daily. Like I'm really into TikTok trends. I don't buy into the trends. I just like to observe. I don't see many people rocking the distressed, like deconstructed look as much anymore. Style that they put out, a lot of the acid wash, like any sort of clothes they put out is always really interesting to me. So I have to say it's like one of my favorite brands by far, even though it's pretty expensive. You can definitely buy secondhand as well. It's one of my favorite brands right now and I don't think I'm gonna be leaving them anytime soon so i'm just wondering like what's what's gonna be next for me like what is my next purchase gonna be when it comes to mason mihara because as much as i want to buy like another pair of shoes it would be pretty cool to 
venture out and maybe like get a jacket or something or like a top be a little bit more versatile even though i feel like shoes to, like to me are the most important part of my look because it's what pulls it all together and since i've been dressing more like baggy oversized i think chunky shoes look way better with that so i'm really happy with the purchase so far um yeah so you can buy these on farfetch i'm sure you can buy them on other websites like hbx feature has uh mason mihara if you can try to get them on the mason mihara website then i would recommend that but yeah it's really difficult to find these in stores like i don't really think they carry them anywhere in the u.s honestly even when i went to korea i went to this place called boon the shop and they had this whole like display of mason mihara shoes but they were all kind of like the the funky colors like the um the colorways are like color block colorways and not a lot of like just basic stuff because they're always sold out so i understand how much how it works over there too because the demand is pretty high i i would for sure recommend these shoes okay well that was the video uh thank you so much for watching this brief um review of the mason mihara yasuhiro blakey shoes they are by far my like favorite purchase of the year since it is 2023 now so i hope you all had a safe fun uh new year's eve and i hope you have a great new year's um this year i would love to start posting more about fashion and more vlogging style um how i like style myself and how i even make decisions on what clothes to buy i'm hoping to vlog more of my like my style journey too so that i can take a look back into the beginning of the year at the end and see how i've progressed and see if there's been many changes because there was a huge change last year for me i think i've come a long way since then so i really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more stuff like this you can like the video you can subscribe you can leave a comment down below and i'll let me know if you want to see more stuff like this so uh, again happy new year hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you in my next one bye